How's it going, guys? Tactics HD here, new season four, my NHL 14, Calgary Flames GM mode series. As you guys can see, right here is the forward lineup, looking pretty good. The only one that's uh, less than 80 is uh, Weiss on the f fourth line, right wing. Defense is all looking really good, 82 and up, mostly 84s. I think we have four 84s of the six, which is really strong defense. And then in goal, guys, we have uh, Smith, 83 overall as a starter, and Danx, 82 overall as the backup. So no really great uh, starter, but at least we have two, you know, pretty solid goalies. Uh, if you know one's not playing too well, the other can come up and play. Uh, our HL team is looking pretty solid through as well, uh, mainly. You know, low to mid 70s. We got a starting goalie at 75 in Merzak. Uh, back up a Brossiet at 69. So, not too bad. Also, we have Calvert down there in the AHL right now. Uh, I'm sure he'll get called up to the NHL once somebody gets injured. But for right now, uh, we'll have him playing there. As you just can see, four and a half stars throughout. So, uh, pretty much the highest we can get. Sometimes I get five star offense, but uh, barely ever. And right here, guys, we're actually picking up Dmitry Orlov. Four star red potential off of waivers. So, I thought that was a really good pickup for us. Pretty young, so has some potential. He might actually be a good defenseman for us in the future. Uh, at the All Star game, guys, nothing happened before. For that, Patrick Kane made it on the first line right wing. Uh, I don't believe any of our defensemen made it, uh, but we did have Patrick Kane there as well. Uh, surprisingly, Smith actually made it as the backup goalie. Only 83 overall, so he must have had been having a pretty good year for us. Right here, guys, I traded Butler. I think he's an 80 overall, top six defenseman. I think he was uh, like our seventh best defenseman. Got a third and a fourth from LA. Then right here, I traded Matt Calvert, who obviously was our fifth best left winger in the AHL. Got a third round pick for him. Right here, guys, making a huge deal with Ottawa, trading our way our first round pick. I figure we have enough prospects this year; we can afford to give it away. Getting back back Robin Lehner, 86 overall goalie, so will be our new starting goaltender. We finally found that, you know, premier starting goaltender. And obviously, I still have Smith and Dank, so whichever one plays better will be the backup to him. So we actually finished seventh in the West, guys. So in the first round of the playoffs, we're going up against the Edmonton Oilers here. Battle of Alberta, trying to uh, beat them out, move on to the uh, second round of the playoffs. And as you guys can see uh, right here, I think we are going into the seventh game. It all comes down to, and unfortunately, we lost that one 4-2 at home. So a uh, bit of a heartbreaker there for us. And uh, right here, guys, is the AHL playoffs, though. Luckily, our AHL team did make it. Uh, actually, a sick record there, 59-11-6, 124 points, first in the AHL. So our AHL team just tore it up this year. Uh, won the first two games against the Hamilton. Bulldogs there, uh, and right here, guys, just going to a scouting assignment. Obviously, the scout uh, finished his uh, job, so right around now, I pretty much have all the players scouted I need to, but anyways, we won our third game, lost the fourth, and then won the fifth, so beat Hamilton in five games, so pretty handily uh, beat them. In second round, guys, we're going against the Grand Rapids Griffins, which is Detroit's AHL team, and uh, right here, we're actually losing to them 3-2. We won the uh, sixth game, though, to tie it up 3-3. Unfortunately, we lose the seventh game there uh, to lose 4-3, so pretty close second round playoffs there against the Grand Rapids Griffins. Right here, guys, just the free agents, so some pretty big names there like Marion Hosa I've seen for instance Eric Cole, Alex Tonye, uh, Simone Gagne, Ryan Malone, Jason Chimera, uh, some pretty big names, Matias Olin, Marc-Andre Bergeron, Thomas Caberlet, Jordan Leopold, uh, Andrew Ferentz, so a lot of uh, you know veteran guys right now in the NHL are starting to retire in our GM mode. And right here guys decided to trade away Mason Newman for a second round pick, his uh, contract was expiring and I really didn't think I needed him anymore, I figured I'd probably get a better player in free agency or possibly you know young guy coming up, so we traded away our first round pick to La uh, for Laners, we didn't have a first round pick, but we did a four second second round picks and I'm gonna make the best use of them I can. So we are guys gonna pick up Kirk Callahan, three star potential left winger. I figured he might be pretty good the guy for us. I think he was a playmaker. And then right here guys I picked up long another forward for us. So I figured right now I'm probably gonna pick up defensemen. So looking through I think I end up going with Pavel Karp Pasov, I think his name was, two and a half star green potential, a Russian defenseman, and then I went with Ferrero, and uh, right here guys in the third round, I actually had three third round picks, obviously just trading away all those lower end guys for uh, third round, second round picks, actually helps out, you know, sometimes you can get really lucky with a prospect, uh, right here I'm going to go with uh, Woe, I think, 6-3 defenseman, uh, hopefully, you know, turn out good for us in the future, and then with our last third round pick, I'm going to take Gentile, another forward, and uh, right here guys, we're at the re-sign phase, so as you can see, I have to sign Michael Camilleri, which is a big sign for us, checking Connor McDavid's overall, and uh, I think McDavid's a 60-something still, hasn't had that big overall boost yet, but uh, looking at everyone, we don't have too many major signs to do. As you can see, guys, Smith's now an 84, so he'll be the backup. But I figured Dance is still locked up. I can keep him in the AHL. He might get even better. Uh, Seeloff had a nice boost there at 82 now. He's been in the AHL for a while for us. Uh, Dimitri Orlov's an 80. I believe it was a 78 when we signed him uh, out of waivers. Or, sorry, picked him up out of waivers uh, at the beginning of last year. And uh, right here, guys, just kind of going through the rookies. Like I said, if they have less than three-star red potential, I uh, usually don't keep them unless they're really young and there's a chance, you know, that they could get better. But uh, for the most part, three-star red potential is the cutoff. Uh, less than that, I'm not going to keep him. It's probably just a waste of a roster spot. I could have a better player or just have an open spot and not have to worry about, you know, getting too cluttered in terms of roster space. All right there, guys, just re-signing Hanson, re-signing Weiss. Good third and fourth line ref wingers, uh, right wingers there, sorry. And obviously, they don't cost me too much money. Uh, looking through everyone else's just prospects and stuff we're going through right now. Uh, Patrick Kane's all locked up. Getting Eric Wellwood there for $2 million. He'll probably be our third line left winger, so not too bad for him. He's still young, so 
could get better. Michael Camilleri, obviously, you have to lock up. Really good player there, 87 overall. Uh, Max Reiner, I'm locking up, but he's probably like going to get traded. Um, I don't see him sticking around. Obviously, guys, as you can see, uh, Carmack Davis is actually a 75 overall. I messed up there. Uh, I thought he was still in the 60s, but he's gone from a 64 to a 75 in one year, so not too bad at all. Hopefully, next year he'll be in the 80s and playing in the NHL. Uh, this year, he'll be either be sent down to juniors or he'll be uh, playing probably first line minutes in the NHL. So, like I said, guys, Max Reiner, I planned on moving as he wasn't one of our top centers. He was getting paid too much, so I actually got a first round pick back for him from Montreal Canadiens. Right here, guys, you can see just all the NHL scoring uh, for our team pretty much what you'd expect you know everyone that you know should be producing where they are is no really uh outstanding performances i don't think over here guys ahl there's a couple good things to look forward to here uh looking at the ahl scoring once it loads up here now uh, this is actually sped up too uh as you guys can see as soon as we go to the leaders here, you can see Sean Monahan, 60 points, 76 games. So good to see Monahan's producing. Obviously, I'd like him to come up soon. Same with Lazar, uh, 56 points there. Uh, Calvin DeHaan, obviously, he was kind of like in between the NHL and NHL. I think he got called up for a couple games uh, when people were injured. And actually, ended up signing Matt Calvert here, guys. After trading away, I signed him. Um, I figured... You know, I could use him on the fourth line left wing. And as you guys can see, Connor McDavid actually got a huge stat boost uh, after uh, the re-signed phase. But, like, later in the summer, for whatever reason, they have players will have, like, you know, 70 overall at the beginning of the summer. At the end of the summer, they get a boost. So he's now an 85. So he went from a 64 to 75 during the NHL season, then a 75 to an 85 during the summer, which is insane. So he's playing second line center for us. I think he's going to be an amazing player behind Camilleri. We got Backlund on the third line and uh, Broussard on the fourth line. So stacked at center for us, guys. Uh, right here are the awards uh, in the NHL. Uh, some, you know, Kessel's getting some awards there. Varlamov won the Conn Smythe. Obviously, the uh, Colorado Avalanche actually won the Stanley Cup. I actually could honestly see this Colorado Avalanche win the Stanley Cup probably in around three, four years. They actually won it back to back years here. So that's insane. I guess they're building a dynasty here. And as you guys can see, we still have four and a half stars throughout. So looking like a really strong team. And, you know, hopefully we can continue the success making the playoffs. But obviously, we'd like to win the Stanley Cup in the next couple of years. Besides that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this NHL 14 GM Wood episode. If you did, please leave a like. See you for more NHL 14 videos. And have a nice day, guys. Goodbye. This the kind of beat the goal.